Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new episode from the Hocus Pocus SMP server, and I have spent about the last six hours trying to get this right here, a silk touch pickaxe. I may still be the first one on the server to actually get one. I enchanted, well, I'll just show you. Everything in this chest was enchanted trying to get it. And all of these were enchanted trying to get it. I did manage to get one other silk touch pickaxe uh, at the very last minute. But it didn't really have anything good on it. So now what this means is we can finally start getting some of this lovely packed ice. Which is going to be used... Uh, quite heavily, actually, in the construction of my base, in nether transportation, all sorts of stuff. Now, one thing that is very, very good is that it will go quick, because as you can see, this Silk Touch pickaxe will bring it up very, very quickly. So, this is going well. Also, having that Silk Touch pickaxe means that uh, I will be able to mine smooth stone, normal stone blocks, instead of turning it into cobblestone, which means stone bricks will become considerably easier to get. So that's also a good thing. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill this all in. Just because I don't want my lovely landscape all destroyed and whatnot. Uh, looks like it is starting to get dark. Unfortunately, I am not the only person on the server right now, so I can't just take a nap. I wouldn't necessarily call that a bad thing. But, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top of this and just work my way down. And uh, we should be able to get a pretty fair amount of packed ice. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that packed ice to construct my base. I have a lot of plans for things that I want to tackle in the near future. The base definitely being one of them. But... A lot of them I just simply can't really do until I've got a decent base. And I can't really get a decent base until I take care of this little packed ice issue that I've been trying to deal with for quite a while now. So, let's see. I think the one I'm looking for is straight this way. I did see that it went all the way up. I just kind of want to peek... Yeah, it's this one right here. So, we do have rules against biome destruction, so I'm not going to completely destroy all of the packed ice that's around here. I will take only what I need. But, what I need, at least for the moment, is going to be, well, pretty much everything found within this particular ice spike. So... Uh, let's make sure we're not leaving any of it behind. I just want to get as much as I can without ruining the cliff side right next to me. We're just kind of working our way down. And then once we have this, then the real fun can begin because there's a lot of things that I've been wanting to build uh, besides just my base, that incorporate packed ice into the, into the design, such as the, uh, the string farm, for example. It, because of the way that spiders work and whatnot, it would be nice to have that packed ice so I can speed them up as they work their way towards the kill point. But we're just going to gather as much of this as we can, and then this should be... Plenty, I would think. We've got a lot of packed ice here. That whole spike we just brought down all together. Yeah, I've got several stacks of it now. That's going to make this a much, much easier. And that'll give us a good start for actually building our base and whatnot as well. Let's get out of this hole that I have dug. I'm just going to patch it back up. And there'll probably be stuff that will spawn down there, but whatever. I don't really care. Okay, so that's good. Now, 
let's go ahead and I think we are going to head into, how do I want to do this? I, I want to figure out, oh, I also spent some time in the nether. As you can see, I have a little bit of nether quartz, just, just a little bit. That's how I had to get, that's how I went about gaining all the levels to get enough to get me this silk touch pickaxe that has eluded me for so long. Um, I'm thinking the next thing that we'll want to do will be, we'll probably want to build some sort of a storage facility. As you can see, uh, I'm rather disorganized right now. I am running out of chest space, so I definitely want to take care of that sooner rather than later. However, we have an issue at the moment, and that being that it is night, and I don't really want to be building this at night. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. There's a nice little creeper stuck over here who we're going to kill quickly. We'll kill this zombie as well. And, uh, okay, that should work for now. I also want to zombie-proof this little hidey hole. Right now I just have wooden doors, and zombies can break through that. There we go. So I'm thinking what we'll want to do... Maybe we can just leave it. I suppose I could put iron doors on here. That would be an easy fix. Maybe we'll just do that. Do I have enough iron ingots? No, but I do have enough iron blocks. So let's just make... Uh, like so... Oh, and that does give me three iron doors. Okay, awesome. So what we're going to do next is we're going to find some wood. Let's see here. That should be plenty. I just want enough for four buttons. Oh! Zombie! Totally did not realize that I left my doors open. Wow, that was, uh, that was not expected. That's okay, though. We'll go ahead and put these zombies just... Whoa, that's a creeper! Please don't blow up in my house! Oh. Oh, man. All right, patch that up. We need to patch that up, like, right now. Holy cow. That was, uh... Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's put pressure plates right here in... You struck me through the door. That wasn't very nice of you. Grr. Whatever. We'll just leave him be for the moment. Let's make a couple of pressure plates. And we'll just put them here and here. That should take care of it. Now we'll grab these buttons. <laughs> these zombies just will not leave me alone. Not even for a couple of seconds so I can take care of what I want to build. And we've got a witch up here. Come on. Oh, that Oh, that was a skeleton. Okay. I see him. All right. There we go. Are we clear? Are we clear? Okay. I think we're I think we're clear for a moment. And we'll just put some buttons right there and then maybe some uh, torches like so. That should uh hopefully Make the base a little bit more secure, at least for now. So let's go ahead and head inside. Whew, man, that was, that was surprisingly close. Okay, now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to find a chest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and just put them in the chest here with the rest of the tools. I think that probably makes the most sense. So this will be like our tool chest. Just like so. 
And then we'll just, some of this kind of, as I said, this is really not organized right now. Everything's just kind of randomly put in places. Um, put that stuff away. Okay, so now we've got an entrance there. I finally got my silk touch pickaxe and lots of ice. Why don't we take some of that packed ice and do... Oh, but actually that's not... Hmm. Oh, that reminds me actually of another project that I wanted to take as well. I'll have to work on... I, I don't want to use too much packed ice in the nether. Um, just because packed ice is fairly scarce. And I don't want to waste a bunch of it by going a too wide path in the nether. Not at this point in the history of the server anyway. Maybe down the road. If we expand the map and find another location where I can get it. But one thing that I do want to take care of is I want to build myself a little... Kind of like an EXP farm in the nether. And this will basically be just like a kill hole for killing zombie pigmen. I want to do it in a location that I can get to, where I can see a bunch of zombie pigmen, where I have some room, just a little bit of room to build, and uh, where they won't kill me. So I'm thinking like right here would be a good spot, and I want to build it out of cobblestone so that it is mostly gassed proof. So what I want to do is find that staircase. Let's see. The staircase that I built over there is right here. So this is going to be the main entrance. Right here. This will work. And it certainly doesn't have to be anything extravagant at this point. I would eventually like to, I'm just going to kind of mark it by doing that. I would eventually actually like to uh, put in like some hoppers and like an item collection system and some of that kind of stuff. The hard part is that it's going to be in the nether, which means I can't use water for item collection. So I will need a bunch of hoppers or some sort of system to keep them from coming and getting hurt but let's do let's build ourselves a little a little uh, room here I'm thinking it'll be something kinda like this and then we'll have like uh, the kill hole if you will and I do actually need this crafting table so that I can make some slabs because I don't want those little zombies to be coming in. Um, let's do that. And then we'll put maybe a half slab here so that they're up at my level where I can see them. And then we'll just kind of build ourselves... A little bunker type deal so we'll kill them from out here and uh, bring this across this isn't going to be the most beautiful thing that's for sure but it should serve its purpose I think so we'll do that this will be our little kill hole and then we want to make sure that they all come in from here. So let's build kind of like a little funnel, if you will, so that they all come towards me from that direction. And we'll just kind of build this out as well, like so. Well, ooh, that is lava. Hello, lava. I'll just put that right there. And we'll just kind of build this up a ways. Just like that. Okay. 
So there's my little kill hole, if you will. And then I think what we'll do is we will take this. Actually, let's let's put that back a little bit further. I'm thinking we'll go here. Oop, knocked out a little bit more than I wanted to. But that's fine. Now we're gonna need some protection in our kill hole. And we're gonna be able we're gonna wanna be able to get back to our staircase up there safely as well. So what I'm thinking is we'll do something like this. Ooh. Wow, I cannot place blocks today. Okay, there we go. So I think that ought to do fairly well. Now this is going to be the tricky part. I need to figure out how I want to do this. I don't want gas to come at me because gas are never good. Maybe we can go... Oh, I missed one right there. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Alright. Oh, and I just realized that this is not actually symmetrical. We need another... There we go, that's better. Okay. So next thing we want to do is we want stairs. We want a staircase. It's a proper staircase made of actual, you know, stairs. Because I'm getting very tired of jumping my whole way up. So let's just make a bunch of stairs. It's not like I'm, you know, running out of cobble or anything. So we'll just put down stairs all along here. And place a couple upside down because, you know, why not? And once again, placing them upside down. And we're just going to go pretty much all the way up. And this is just going to be a very simple anger the pigman type farm. Where I'm just going to come down here. I'll block all of this off and make this one big tunnel. And then from here... I'll find some way where I can anger them, maybe put a door in or something. I don't really know. I'll figure something out. But that's about all I have time for in this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. I really appreciate it, and it definitely helps me out. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. There will be links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I will definitely see you next time.